In this scenario, we'll run through a quick pre-call checklist to maximize the success of an upcoming meeting. We'll use Eureka's discoveries to tell us what we need to know and combine those with Salesforce workflows to run through the whole process. Before our meeting with Pied Piper CEO Richard, we'll start off at his lead page. You can see there's not a ton of information there, but we still want to check it out to make sure we're prepared and have our ducks in a row. Now that I'm inside the color formatted green form, some of the fields from Richard's record have been pre-populated as form responses. I'll fill in the rest of the information I didn't have regarding when the meeting occurs and what type of buyer is. We'll call him an executive buyer. Because each meeting type brings with it an entirely unique set of challenges and logistical questions, you can see that the questions change dynamically on the form. There are a lot of little things that need to happen to maximize a meeting success, and something such as simple as catering food for an on-site demo can be surprisingly important. But we're going to indicate an initial discovery meeting, and Eureka lets us know that these appointment setting leads can be flaky, so we should probably confirm. It also asks us if we want an executive level high-tech case study, and here's why. We said that Richard is an executive level buyer, and also in the technology vertical. Both of those responses are necessary for the question to appear, and if either response doesn't conform to the criteria, the question disappears. We'll also go ahead and reinforce the habit of filling in website information as a check to ensure that we did our homework beforehand. Finally, we'll indicate who else is attending on the Pied Piper side, and if we want any help. We're feeling pretty good about this meeting, so no assistance needed. When we go to save the form, you'll notice an error, and it's actually a good thing. Eureka enforces the Salesforce field validation rule so that we're only providing clean data. We'll fix the URL and save our form and move on to the next step. Now we'll go ahead and lock the form and make some discoveries to find out what we need to know. It's pretty straightforward that we need to confirm the meeting because we said we hadn't, and that we requested that high-tech customer case study. But taking it a step further, Eureka's identified that because this is a venture-funded company and a discovery meeting with an executive, we should probably have some coverage on our side. The discoveries we made are appended to the form, and now we want to go to our home screen where we'll see that we have tasks waiting for us because of those discoveries. We need to confirm and also involve our executive team. But we also got that high-tech case study by using Salesforce workflows to manage the email. Remember how incomplete Richard's lead page was before? No longer. Many of our responses are now on the lead page, so we didn't have to double key them. And the interaction from the form and the discoveries that were made are associated to Richard's lead page. We also have the open activities that we need to take action on. The goal of this form was to make our meeting with Richard as successful as possible, and Eureka's put us in a great spot. We have the discoveries that we need to know, we've inputted all of that Salesforce data, and we're enforcing some good habits for our new reps. If you like this template and want to use it for your sales team, you can go to eureka.io slash sales cloud to see this template and others that are meant for sales teams.